if you go to another country, if you go to the US or the UK, there are already people there. Why would they give you the job that you want? Huh? This is not me trying to be a motivational speaker. I'm, I'm just being real with you. Why would they give you the job? Somebody that literally just came down. I can't even speak the language. Why would they give you a job? Why would they do something for you? It's just going to be a burden to other people that already brought you there. Why are you so different? Huh? Than anybody that already lives there. Anybody that li already lives in flipping Sweden. Or the UK or Finland or Denmark. What makes you different? That you now want to get all the things that you want in life. When people that already live there are struggling. Just be realistic. If you're from Somalia, this video is for peop for the people that are from Somalia, born and raised in Somalia, um, that are trying to make something out of their life. So if you're from Somalia, this video is for you. Why did I record this video? I don't really know. I just felt like doing it. I just felt like I would need this video if I was in Somalia five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago. So if you're in Somalia, and this is for the people that are born and raised in Somalia, live in Somalia, as I said before. And you can already understand this video, well, you're, you're on a good track. So, uh, if you're in Somalia, and uh, you can understand this video, and you want to get out of Somalia, and make something for yourself one day, work for your family, do all of that stuff, um, there's things I need you to know, and there's things I need you to understand before you do anything, right? So, let's start off with step number one. To leave Somalia is very hard. It's very hard. It's harder than you think. It's harder than you think. Um, it, not, it might not be as hard as it was maybe a few years ago, but it's still hard, okay? It's, it's still very hard. So, um, if you get the opportunity to maybe go to any other countries, like Kenya, for example, or maybe Turkey. Turkey is actually way easier to come to nowadays than it was, you know, back in the day before we had any relationships with Turkey. And now with the whole, um, I looked at the news today, and now with the whole, um, uh, the Som the Turkey Turkey digging up oils in Somalia, I feel like the relationship would be better. The relationship would be even way better than it was before. Because, you know, money controls the world, right? So, if you're in Somalia, and I'm not saying leave the country and do all of this and never come back. Um, this video is specifically for people that live in Somalia that want to, you know, build their life. And maybe come back to Somalia one day with a better with with a better health, wealth, and all of that stuff. Just as a better person. So I love Somali. As you can see, I already have the Somali flag in my background, right? There's nothing. People usually tend to think just because I would want to leave Somalia that I don't love Somalia. That's two completely separate things. Everywhere I go, I, I'm repping that flag forever. Look at my. I have the Somali bracelet, the Somali flag. The, even the LED is blue. So don't come here thinking I hate my country. Don't even start that topic. So, as I said before, you want to leave the country. Probably most of the people do. Number one, re know the reason you're leaving the country. Okay? And I'm going to tell you one thing. Go into Europe and go into, um, let's say, the US, Canada. It's not as you think it is. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Okay? It's not... As you think it is. People tend to think it's dreamland and it's paradise. Maha. It's not Jannah. Alright. You have to. People that live there already struggle with their uh, life. Uh, in the same way you're struggling. It might, it might not be to the same scale. It might not be to the same height. But they're all stop, uh, struggling. Okay. The same way you're looking for rent. They're looking for rent money. The same way you're looking for job. They're looking for jobs. But on a different scale of course you know it, it might be harder for you to find a job in Somalia than and it, it is for someone that lives in the US right we get it okay everyone has their own problems just because you go to another country just because you go to like Asia Europe and you know US and Canada doesn't mean you're not going to have any problems with life as long as you live in this world you're always going to have a problem if you don't want to have problems just wait till you die and you know be on your dean then when you go to Jannah, you're not going to have a problem. But as long as you live in this world, you're going to have a lot of problems. Okay, just know that fact. Because you'll be shocked. The amount of people that think going to a different country in the West is just going to make the whole life a paradise. That's not how it works. Please understand that. Get that through your head. Because I know a lot of people. I'm from Somalia. I know a lot of people that have that stupid ass idea. It's not. That's not how it works. All right? That's not how it works. Everyone has their own problems. There's no place on this earth. That, uh, you know, people live with no, with no problems, right? Hey, let me... I just had to make that clear because there's a lot of people. I don't want to call them stupid, but there's a lot of people that have that mentality of, of, of thinking 
anywhere apart from Somalia is Jannah. Or at least the West, you know, the UK, all of that stuff. No, that's not how it works. And please be kind to the family relatives that live in those countries that pay for your stuff, that are sending you money. Please be kind to them. The money doesn't grow in trees. I'm tired of this whole narrative people think, people people believe that people from the West can find money like it grows on trees. No, they don't. They work hard for this. Don't make me mad, please. Don't piss me off. All right, anyways, let me calm down. All right? Let's get that out of the way. It's probably going to take you time, you know, to understand and to realize it. Just because I've made a video, this video is not going to make you understand that. So I'm just leaving it there. All right? Secondly, don't wait to go somewhere else to gain skills or work on, on, on at least benefit of that skill. If you're in Somalia, you have plenty of time. If you're in Somalia, you have plenty of time. Do something. Learn a new uh, language. Learn English. Learn Spanish. Learn whatever the hell you want. Learn digital marketing. Learn something. Because when you leave Somalia, you need something. All right? If you go to another country, if you go to the US or the UK, there are already people there. Why would they give you the job that you want? Huh? This is not me trying to be a motivational speaker. I'm, I'm just being real with you. Why would they give you the job? Somebody that literally just came down. I can't even speak the language. Why would they give you a job? Why would they do something for you? They're just going to be a burden to other people that already brought you there. Do you get it? So, hopefully you can understand this video. I'm, if you want me to make this video in Somali, please let me know. I'll, I'll make it. Because <laughs> I need to get this point across. I don't know why I'm so, so passionate about it. I just turned up the camera and now all of this is flowing in my mind. But I'm just had to say it. Okay. So, build a skill. Learn something. Digital marketing, video editing, coding, anything. The bare minimum you can do is learn the language that you would want to communicate in the country you're going to. Learn English. At least if you go there, you, you might be a translator. Learn something. Get yourself off the ground. Another thing that I want to tell you is find a way. Find a way to get yourself out of Somalia. Find something. Whether it's your skills, whether you apply for jobs, whether you apply for unis, um, whether you apply for high school, nobody's going to do it for you. Just because you have families in the West doesn't mean they got the time to do all that stuff for you. Nobody does, right? So this video is for people that will want to leave. I'm going to make a different video for people that want to stay in Somalia. And you know, that, that, that would be the better part. I'm excited to make that video again. Because with the whole oil now, uh, Turkey coming to Somalia with the whole oil, uh, there's going to be a, apparently, just to get that oil out of the sea, they might have a new job opportunity for 200,000 Somali men or women, of course, 200,000 people in general. So that'll be a very exciting video to me if you live in Somalia. But this video will be if you want to leave Somalia, completely different thing. So yeah, number one is learn something. Number two is learn, know the reason that you're leaving the country. You just don't want to go there because you just saw, you know, be realistic. Just you saw, uh, you know, how the US looks from movies, from goddamn movies, right? And the last point I want to make is be freaking realistic. Be realistic, please. Be realistic, right? Why are you so different, huh? Than anybody that already lives there. Anybody that already lives in flipping Sweden or the UK or Finland or Denmark. What makes you different that you now want to get all the things that you want in life? When people that already live there are struggling, just be realistic. And also, be realistic on your goals. What do you want to get? What do you want to gain? Be realistic with that too. And also, be realistic with your life situations. If you're in Somalia, and you know you have limited resources to tap almost everything, you can't expect to spend a lot of money getting out of the country. You might sometimes need to settle down. You might need to stay in your country, actually. You might need to just stay in your country. And look for better jobs or better education opportunities. Or, there's a lot of opportunities in Somalia. I don't believe in that. I don't believe people that I think Somalia is just a shit show and I wouldn't do anything with my life just because I'm Somalia. No. Well, that's, first of all, that's the wrong mentality to have. So I'm going to just leave it here. So just to conclude that video, I'm going to just leave it there. You know, there's a lot of things I need to go through. But if you guys want a part two, please uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And subscribe to the channel. If you've made it this far, please subscribe. All right, I like the video. Because 90% of the people are not subscribed. Alright, Masalama, see you guys in the next video. Bye, Masalama, bye.